Hello guys and welcome back to the NW Sportscast. Today we're going to be a super, super exciting video. We're going to be watching some Damian Lillard highlights from a random game I chose. 43 points, 16 assists versus the Pelicans um, in February. And this is a game I watched um, and just shows how good Dame is. And um, I'm just going to be going over it, some analytical stuff, and here we go. So Damian Lillard here, spread out floor and... This guy right here is going to try to go on top of the screen. If you go under the screen, Dame is just going to kick out and shoot it right there because he can shoot it from anywhere. So then when he fights over the screen, because you have to with Dame, then he gets an interesting scenario where Damian Lillard is on the bigger man, and Damian Lillard can blow by him and finish with the left. Really good at finishing, and that's just the benefit of Damian Lillard and them having to go under screens. So then obviously handoff. And he'll hit that every day. One of the best shooters in the league. Probably the second best shooter behind Stephen Curry. Um, really, really good shooter. Off the dribble, off the pass, whatever. Again, off the dribble, bucket. Get out to him any day. He'll he'll hit that any day of the week. Right here, Damian Lillard. So you see, there's almost no guys in the paint at this point. There's five guys spread out wide. Damian Lillard playing with Lonzo, a really good defensive player. Lonzo's a really, really underrated player. But you just can't stop that. Um, he gets one-on-one, -on -one and, you know, he can just pop. He's not a super tall player, but he has good, good finish there. But he has really, really good height on his shot, and he can shoot above anybody. Um, right here, he slips on a dribble, gets it back, and pull up again. And I you guys are seeing from this, his game is built around being able to shoot the ball from wherever he wants to on the floor. Okay? And, and, and that's it. Lonzo has a really, really tough job because whatever Lonzo has to do is if he plays too close on him, he's going to absolutely drive by. And if he doesn't, he'll shoot. So the the what you have to do against Dame is you either have to double him, hope he misses, or you're screwed. Dame against a bigger defender here. Yep, step back, got it to go. Whenever you're one-on-one -on -one with Dame, just say your prayers that he's going to miss because he's going to get a shot off and it's going to be a good shot. So right here, let's go back. Okay. Right here, guys. So we have two spread out on the corners. Um, and then we have, uh, looks like it's going to be a double screen right here. Screen number one on Lonzo. The best defender out of these three as regarding Dame. So what Dame is trying to do is he either is going to try to drive and get a shot off, drive, draw a bigger defender, and then go to the hoop, or drive and kick inside or to the corners. Let's see what he does. Comes off the double screen, has the bigger guy on him, just like I said. This guy's coming down to help, anticipating Dame's no pie, so maybe he'll kick it out to him. Lonzo tries to run because he knows what's going to happen. He's just going to shoot over the bigger man who you see how far back he's playing him. And the big man has to do that. It doesn't matter, though. Dame will hit that. That's way too easy. Switched on to a bigger defender. Dame exploits that every single time. Again, Lonzo and the double screen right here. Again, he's going to go with the slightly less athletic player. He doesn't really want to. Zion can, Zion can keep with him if he wants to drive. Zion probably can't do much against the shot, but... Um, again, Lonzo is now out of the equation. You have Big Ben. You see he's already slipping here and pop. Yep, any day of the week. All starts from the screens. He can do it by himself, but a screen sure helps. Coming off off-ball screen, you see he can do it without the ball too. And again, you get the bigger defender on him. And uh, the, little, the, little defend, um, the smaller defender who may be a little bit better equipped to guard Dame is running to help because he knows it's going to happen, but it's too late. Dame is already blown by in this scenario. You know, he can kick, he can drive, and then draw Zion and kick, or he can just go to the hoop, and he goes to the hoop. All about switching, guys. If you're a small guard out there and you're really fast and you can get to the rim, get try to create screens, not just to get your big man open, but to get – um, a bigger, less capable defender onto you, and then you can drive to the hoop way easier, or you can pull up because they have to play behind you. Right here, Dame again, bigger defender, just drives by and then dishes when Zion jumps. Uh, then another drive and the foul. Yep, there you go, guys. So, as you see, my recording is going to end in 10 seconds. I don't have unlimited, but thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. I hope you guys watch, like, watch my game, and